Oh, hi, sweetheart. How was your swimming lesson? Oh, you'd have been so proud of her. She was just wonderful. Oh, honey, you keep this up and you can just swim home. <laughs> <laughs> I think you better get out of those wet clothes now, sweetheart, okay? Thank you, Mrs. Gurney. Thank you so much for staying with her. Oh. Tomorrow I'll take her to a swimming lesson and you can have a rest. Oh, don't you worry about me. This whole trip is a rest. I'm, I just love being with Bianca. Well, thank you so much. And I'm so glad that you were able to come on this cruise with us. Oh, so am I, Miss Kane. <laughs> well, if you'll excuse me, I think I'll go to my cabin. Just call me if you want me. Okay, of course, yes. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Sweetheart, you hurry up now. It's almost dinner time. Come on, baby. What's that? Oh, is that a present from Mommy? From Daddy. He gave this to you to give to me? Well, I wonder what it is. You, you want to help Mommy open it? Come on, you take off the box top. <gasps> this can be. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. It's pretty. Well, it's just like the one Daddy wears. Oh, hi, you're back. Oh, Olga, where have you been? Oh, darling, I was seized with a craving for chocolate, and I just had to go get an ice cream soda. <laughs> <laughs> you bad girl. Well, I'm on vacation. I'm entitled. But the terrible thing is, I had to pass the shops coming back here. And look what I couldn't resist. Oh, oh, <laughs> beautiful. <laughs> you know I'm just crazy about scarves. Yeah, and chocolate. Yes, and chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> How'd it go? The call. Was it Travis or Jackson? It was my father. Oh, what a shame. Oh, God, nonsense. I mean, the whole reason I took the cruise is so that I just will get away from both of them. <laughs> Anyway, Jack came in while I was talking to my father, and I know he wanted to talk to me. Well, why didn't you talk to him? Well, because it... I'm not going to talk to either one of them until I get back. Oh, look what Travis sent me. Oh, a clatter ring. Sweet. Yeah. Well, uh, Bianca had it in her suitcase. He, he put it there, and he told her to give it to me once we were at, at sea. You know the significance of this, don't you? Yeah, what? Well, darling, in Ireland. It was used for weddings. Excuse me, Miss Kane? Yes? For you. All right, thank you. Oh, great. Just what I need. What is it? It's a handwritten invitation. It reads as follows. Dear Miss Kane, I would like very much for you and your companion to join me at my table for dinner this evening, Captain Lindstrom. <laughs> but that's lovely. <laughs> oh, please. All I need is to be bored to death by some old salty sea dog regaling me the stories of life on the seven seas. Erica, it is a great honor to be invited to the captain's table. Oh, come on, Oba. I'm here to rest and regroup. Oh, so you're declining? Well, of course I'm declining. I'm having dinner in my cabin with Mrs. Gurney and Bianca. Oh, Erica, really? Well, you can go. You can go have dinner with the old sea dog. You can hear all his boring old stories. Just give him my regrets. All right. All right. You should change your mind. No way. Oops, Erica, don't look now. Good afternoon, ladies. Enjoying your cruise? Yes, yes, very much. Good. And you, Miss Kane? Oh, yes. Yes, it's, it's very lovely. Thank you. Are you... Captain Lindstrom. Nils Lindstrom. <clears throat> well, how do you do? It's, it's so nice to meet you. Uh, this is my friend. This is my companion, Olga Svensson. Miss Svensson, good to meet you. You too, Captain. Did you receive my invitation? Yes. And I would be delighted to have dinner with you tonight. But Miss Kane would be delighted too. Really, it was so lovely of you to ask us. I'll look forward to it with pleasure. So will we. Thank you, Captain Lister. Oh, so much for regrouping and relaxing. <laughs> oh, shut up, Olga. <laughs>